If you've been in the gaming community at all within this past month, you definitely know about the enormous announcement that Nintendo made that took the community by storm and rocked their worlds. Super Smash Bros. was announced to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. For those unfamiliar with the series, the Super Smash Bros. series is a nearly 20 year old series of party fighting games that takes all of Nintendo's greatest franchises and brings them all together into one game to clash, with some characters like Sonic the Hedgehog and Pac-Man even invading the battle. Now we all knew that Smash was inevitably going to come to the Switch in due time, but for it to be announced after about two long years of speculation and massive fan outcry, in addition to the fact that the Switch is only just over a year old, is what's causing the hype. There are videos everywhere that are discussing Smash and what it could be like, ranging from simply predicting when the game will release, the game's core mechanics, and even making cases for meme status for Mario series character Waluigi's inclusion as a potential fighter in the game. If you take a look into the numerous videos, articles, and social media discussions about Smash, you'll find a very passionate community enamored by the game and hyped up for even the slightest bit of official Smash news. Numerous gaming news outlets like GameSpot, The No, Kotaku, and the infamous IGN have all covered this major announcement to some degree. It's the delight of new confirmed information on how the final game will play that's behind all this hype. With the inclusion of characters from potentially any game franchise, and I mean any game franchise, the Smash community has generated hype over the potential inclusion of wildcard characters that could be implemented into the game of nowhere. The latest installment, released on the Wii U in 2014, is the largest series is the largest game in the series by far, featuring fighters ranging from your average Mario to anime like Swordsman, and even a straight up boxer from the Bronx. Any character from any game is a potential candidate for Smash, and even non-gaming icons like Goku from the Dragon Ball series and friggin' Shrek the Ogre are characters that are always supported by the community to include for one reason or another. The wildcard nature of Smash and its announcements basically uh, is one of the things driving the hype around it, and I think it, the newfound interest of people from all corners of the gaming community in Smash is great. One aspect of the Smash community that is certainly not as well known to the general public is its competitive community. Because Smash is such an accessible game, it has a large presence in the entire fighting game community as a whole. The second entry in the series that was released over 15 years ago on the GameCube, titled Super Smash Bros. Melee, in fact is still adored and played to this day. In addition to the latest installment on the Wii U, the competitive scene of Smash altogether is great and can achieve some massive feats. From getting its start as a grassroots movement in the mid-2000s, to now being televised on ESPN and Disney XD once a year, the power of the Smash community with what it can do is clearly apparent. Now then, let's talk about the future of Smash. As you know by this point, Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo Switch is releasing this year and there have been almost no details shared about it other than that a few characters are confirmed and it exists. So the speculation about Smash is at what I consider to be an all-time high. You've got multiple speculation videos, rumors and fake leaks circulating, and also numerous social media threads discussing about what could come next. I asked around with some people about their history with Smash, and what their thoughts were on it now, and where it could go in the future. Here's what I've seen so far. Well, personally, I play Smash because it's just a really fun collection of Nintendo characters, and just generally gaming all stuff, so... Just the fact that it's a really fun game in general, just just help. Let, let's be real here. Um, I play Smash because I like to win, really. I mean, so, right, even if I'm playing in like a party with some of my like other friends or competitively at like a tournament or something, I just like to win. And I think Smash Brothers is a game, it's very interesting, it's got all the characters that I love, it's all from all these different games, introduced me to new games. And I think um, combining all that into a game where I can 
you know, just get to beat up all these other characters that I love, and with characters that I love, and as well as, like, right, just being able to win competitively, it's a fun time, and, right, you'd be party, as a party casual game or as a competitive game, either way, it's really cool. But I think Smash Twitch is going to be similar to Smash 4 in that it's going to be it's going to be a lot slower paced. Um, we're not going to have like melee where it's like you got to break your fingers to do anything on a controller. But it's going to I I feel they're going to bring back some of the melee esque stuff because right melee is so popular even though it's so old. So I think they're going to they're going to try and make it so like Smash 4 and melee had a baby. And I think it's going to be really cool, especially competitively, right? And as far as, like, character and stuff wise, honestly, I'd like to see maybe even a smaller roster than Smash 4. I doubt they'll do it like that. They'll probably do it about the same. But 58 characters is a lot to me, and I find that I often, like, have no interest in playing a lot of them. So I think it's it might be a little too much with like the 58 or so they have now um but yeah also stage wise i am smash has always been generating hype and that for good reason the thrill of who could be the new characters and the new modes and just generally what Zachary thinks of this time this is all more than enough reason to get hyped for the new smash game so so, when I was a small child, about eight or nine, I used to play a brawl all the times with my, all the time with my friends. We would we'd hang out and we'd just play brawl for hours. And it, we played it like a party game. And most of us didn't even actually like know how to really play the game because we thought that Pitch, Pitt's dash attack was broken, right? Um, yeah. So I mean, and we played sideways Wii mode too. So it was not a fun time. Now, according to my family and photographic evidence. I was into Smash ever since Smash 64, and I also played a bit of Melee, but my memories only date back to when my brother gave me Brawl for my birthday once. But something must have still been there, since I had no issue of getting into it at all whatsoever. So yeah, I consider myself a veteran, but that doesn't mean I'm pretty good or everything, I'm actually not that good at all. Smash, right, I mean, any Smash game is going to get a lot of hype, but I think Smash Witch in particular, right, we went, Brawl was a bad iteration of the game, and we saw it come back to, a, a, like, probably, like, a solid B, B plus version in Smash 4, um, so I think there's so much hype around it, right, because it's on an uptrend in quality, and so, people, like, right, we, we went from Brawl, which was, like, bad, it wasn't, wasn't that good, tripping, <laughs> ugh, but Smash 4, right, you got a, we got a nice solid game, it's fun, it's good. So, right, if they continue that trend, then Smash Switch should be amazing. So far, Smash has been a really successful franchise, and even Smash Wii U sold relatively well, despite the fact that the Wii U sold like trash. So, this coupled with the gigantic hardcore and casual appeal of Smash, as well as the success of the Switch, it's obvious to say that this game is going to be a Smash success. God, that was awful. I know Sakurai, like, I thought, I knew, I know he wanted, like, Smash 4 to be his last game, but it's so popular that I think it's gonna have to keep going. Although, at some point, I think it's gonna be oversaturated to the point where it's, like, we'll have Brawl and, like, Smash 4 and Smash 64 that are just getting, like, no competitive play or party play. So, I think it's gonna be kind of, like, Mario Kart in a sense where you're gonna have dead games but I think it'll be similar to that where you'll just have like a whole series of them continuing up and up and up I hopefully do now, most likely Smash Switch is going to be a new game with new characters, modes, stages, etc. you know the drill I'm sure that just like the predecessors it's going to follow a specific theme that carries on throughout the entire game Sakurai is a man that hates to repeat himself so case in point it's a new game, no questions about it. So what I generally heard was that everyone's extremely hyped up over Smash because of what significance the series personally has in their lives, whether it be because of the accessibility, or how long they've been playing for, 
for me personally, I play Smash because it allows me to not only connect with friends, but with total strangers, and, well, subsequently, lets me make even newer ones. I can play with other people that don't even play the game as passionately as I do, and I think that's a pretty beautiful thing. I love this community as a whole, and for it to become even stronger now makes me feel all giddy for what the future holds. I might have potentially just bored you by wasting your time by talking about video games for 5 minutes. Boy. But hey, if you got a problem with that, then why don't we just... Settle it in Smash! Smash! Oh, and a meep, I'm still pretty pissed about this game and for this game because, you know, the lost bed and shit. I, I don't drink apple juice anymore, you know.